All right, guys, girls, welcome to another episode of Astro Auto Repairs. <laughs> Can you dig it? All right, guys, check it out. Right on the side of me, I got a 2007 Volkswagen Beetle. And we're going to show you how to change the spark plugs and ignition coils. You definitely want to pay attention because there's some very important information in this vehicle. Coming up on Astro Auto Repairs. This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. All right, guys, here you go. The first thing we'll do is we want to get two our spark plugs and coils. And they're going to be located up in the air. But before we do that, we got to pop this cover off. Now, this cover is just held on by some rubber grommets and posts. So that's all you have to do is just grab onto it. You're going to feel like a tug on it, but you're going to pop it, pick it up just like, pop it up just like that. Let me turn it over and show you what I'm talking about. You're going to have four rubber grommets. And what they do is push down, got that? on four posts. One, two, three, and four is right back here behind this breather right here. All right, so let's put that to the side and we'll be right back. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is disconnect our ignition coils. Now you're gonna have five ignition coils right here. Now, if you're not replacing the ignition coils, what I need you to do is take you a marker and mark the coils. One, two, three, four, five. That's just in case the computer might pick up a misfire later on. You know exactly which cylinder it came, which, which, came, which one it was, and it's in the computer. Now, this guy's right here is very important because a lot of times you'll see these little clips right here. You'll see them broken off. Now, why? It's just because people don't know how to disconnect these coils and they sit in here and they break them off. What you have to do. Let's try, let's get one closer up to here to you. Now what you want to do, there's that little tab right there. Let me, let me go over here better. It's okay, it's okay. Sure? Yeah. Okay, that tab is supposed to pull back and then unplug it. But if you try to pull that back right now, because of the way it's plugged up, because of the rubber bushing, the uh, grommet inside there, it's putting like pressure on the plug. You will break that. So to do this, what you got to do is take the whole connector, Push it forward, hold it forward, then with a flat screwdriver, like this one, back this tab up. Let me see if we can get it. Now, see that? You're going to push that forward, take the screwdriver, push that tab back, and while you got it back, unplug the coil, just like that. If, because inside there, there's that rubber grommet, and that's to seal any kind of water or anything going in there. So if you don't, you're going to mess it up, and this thing will never hold up against that coil again. Twist the coil, and these coils just set down in there. And Man, these things are stuck in there. There's no bolts holding this down. You just want to pick it up. Ah, just like that. So what you want to do is on these coils right here, let's go to this one. What you want to do is... Pick it up a little bit. Then, so now you got a little play right there. Push it forward and unplug it. And if you have to, like this one won't come off all the way, so you might have to pick the coil up a little bit more and then unplug it. All right, let's get the rest of them done. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we got all five of them unplugged. Now, some of you guys might be wanting to say, Tim, why don't you take a screwdriver and stick it between the coil and the valve cover? You don't want to do that because the valve covers on these are plastic. You go ahead and pry up against that coil, you will crack that valve cover. Then you'll be looking crazy in the face. So, all right, we got all our coils out. Just pull them all out. Now, if you're re reusing the coils, you want to set them up, or you already got them numbered already. You set them up in the order that you took them out. 
in case you didn't. Alright, let's take them all out and then get ready to take out our spark plugs. We'll be right back. Alright guys, for this step you're going to need a magnetic spark plug socket, 5 8 Or if you don't have one, you can use a 5 8 or a 16 millimeter deep socket, 3 8 drive. And I'm using a 4 inch wobble extension. And a wobble extension is not like a regular extension that you put it on and it's just straight. A wobble extension, you can put it on and that socket will swivel. You're definitely going to need that. And I got a 6 inch 3 8 drive extension. This one's wobble, it don't have to be, this one be straight. Now why do I got the wobble? Because these plugs right back here, number four and number five, it's kind of difficult to get to. Now you can probably use a six inch and try to stick it in there and that's gonna be too low, then you gotta, it's, it's all messed up. A wobble extension, set up like that, will allow you to just go just like that. See now that I'm at that angle, I can go down and I'm on to the plug. Now, if you're using just a regular spark plug socket, you are gonna need you, a hose. This is about a six inch 3 8 drive hose. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Get your 3 8 drive ratchet. We're going to go for this one right here. I'm on number four. Unbolt the plug completely. Take your hose, you're going to push it down there onto the spark plug and pull the spark plug right out. Now that one is, that is messed up. Wow. Alright, let's get the rest of them out and we'll be right back. Alright guys, we got all five spark plugs out. Now this is what you want to do guys. I took my spark plugs out and I laid them out in the order of the cylinders they came out with, came out of. Why? Because this is a good time to inspect your spark plugs because it could show an indication of something going wrong inside the engine whether it's completely black or burnt one is burnt out more than the others uh, but as you can see all these are pretty clean and what you want to do is look for let's take a look at that one right there see how clean it is it's not oily no oils on it it's not wet that is a normal burning plug now we go ahead and cylinder number two. It's a little more brown on top, but that is not an indication of anything. That is also a normal wear wearing spark plug. So that's good. Now the next part is very important, guys. Very, very important. All right, let's <coughs> let's go get our new plugs, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, here we are. We got our brand new spark plugs right from Volkswagen dealership. Now guys, this is very important. Now a lot of times you guys pull out spark plugs, you notice that the spark plugs will get seized up inside the cylinder head. That's because of the metal of the spark plugs going up against the metal of the cylinder head and it will seize up in there. Now you must, you must get you some anti-seize, get you a little Q-tip, and what you're gonna do is coat the threads. Now here is the little trick. NGK and these plugs they're Volkswagen, but made by NGK. As you can see, it says NGK on them. NGK says you do not have to use any anti-seize on their spark plugs. We have came across NG plugs that have was very that have been very very difficult to remove from the cylinder head. Nowhere does NGK say they're going to pay a repair shop to pull off your cylinder head and retap them spark plug holes if it fails. They do not tell you that. So do not listen. So put anti-seize on the threads. Not a lot. What you want to do? Take your anti-seize. Now your anti-seize is going to come with a little brush, but you don't need that. Get you a little Q-tip. Dab it up there. Take a plug. And that's all you want to do is coat right, just a thin layer right there. Just like that. And you want to do that, see I got a little napkin over here to set this down. You want to do that to each plug. Now, also, you don't want to put it up here because that's, that's like defeating the purpose. You want to put it down towards here so as it's going into the engine, to, to the cylinder head, it spreads that uh, anti-seize all the way up. Do not put any anti-seize down here. Oh, that spark plug will foul out. 
Then you'll be wondering what the heck happened and saying I taught you wrong. It ain't happening. Alright, so let's put these down. Let's get all of them coated up and we'll be right back. Alright, ready to put install our plugs. Now you do not want to take your plugs. Matter of fact, let's take one over to the car right now. I'm going to show you. Okay, you're going to see a lot of guys take this plug plug and just put it right there and drop it down in there. You can't do that, guys. Because if you drop that spark plug down there and you close up that gap between there, it's going to cause you a misfire. So you need to, what we'll do is take your hose I told you about, put your spark plug on it, just a little bit, lower it down, turn it by hand for about five threads. This way you know it's not being cross-threaded because you're going to put down it and it's cross-threaded, you'll be pulling that head up or calling me to do it. Either one, I can do it, so feel free to call me. All right, so you put it down by a couple threads, pull your uh, holes back out. Let me grab one more. Okay, we'll grab one more. Lower it down. Make sure it turns about five threads or even more if you want. And pull it out. All right, let's do the other three and we'll be right back. All right, guys, before I put this last one in, see this little ring right here? That is not <laughs> a washer. It is actually a gasket. This actually considered a crush gasket, which means this thing will seal up any kind of combustion coming out of the engine. So when we go to tighten up this plug, there's going to be like a two-step that tightens up. You're going, to, you're going to tighten it up. You're going to feel the spark plug get tight. But then you have to turn a little bit more because at that point, that's when you're going to be crushing that gasket. So I just want to tell you about that before we start tightening them up. So let me start this one in there, and we'll be right back. All right. So we're going to put our tools on there. I mean, I can use the ratchet right now, but I'm just going to turn it by hand until it stops. Now, let's tighten this up. What you want to do? You want to go, and you're going to feel tension right there. You're going to feel it actually wants to stop. Now, when you keep, if you keep going, you're going to feel it turn, and that's when you're crushing that gasket. And then, you want to go till it stops, and then just a little bit more. That is it. Let's do one more together, and then we're going to do the others by itself. So I'm just taking my hand, turn it down till it stops. You see how light is turning? Right there. See how it stops? I can go another 90 degrees. And that thing is still now till it stops and a little bit more. That's it. All right, let's get the other three done and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are now ready to install our coils. The coils is right from Volkswagen. Now, guys, this is also important. If you get a cheap name brand set of coils, probably it's going to last you about two months and then you'll be back again. But also with the coils, you're going to have to get a silicone grease to go inside to protect against any kind of moisture or anything. Now, a lot of the aftermarket coils, except if you get Denso or Delphi, they'll come with it, but they will not have it. You have to get a separate pack, something like this right here. And what you would do is just squeeze a little bit out, just like that, and you would set it. Right inside the right inside the boot, just like that. But let's pull one of these out. I don't know if you can see Volkswagen. If you can see inside it, you'll see a green line. That's the grease. That's the silicone grease in there. There it is in there. Now, if you want, it's not gonna hurt. If you can take a look, you can take a little bit and put a little more in there. And I'm gonna do that because the grease is towards the inside, but I want it to be outside towards to where the outside of that boot is. So what I'm going to do... Can you put too much? No, you can't put too much on it. I mean, like that. 
just like that is good. So we're going to get all of them. Put a little silicone grease on them. And again, it ain't got to be a lot. Just like that. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, Sylvia asked the question. What was your question? If someone doesn't know how much to put in there, is there such a thing as putting too much? I want to say, I want to, I want to say no, because you got no business, you know, filling a whole boot up and all that. That's too much. You're, I mean, but there, there actually is no way you could put too much. Just put a little bit, just like that, and that's it. Oh dang, I thought I could put some in there. You distracted me. You distracted me. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's get some. And put it in there, right in there, like that. You know what? I gotta, let me put a little bit more on that one. Alright, guys, let's go put our coils in. We'll be right back. Alright, we're ready to put our coils in. Now, your coils is gonna have the plug part right there. You want to make sure that face towards back to the connectors. And we're not going to push it down all the way. We're just going to let them set just like this. Reason being because it makes it a lot easier to plug them up. Now your harness is going out like this and at the end of it, move over here so you want to start connecting it from this one first so just put it on you don't have to you don't have to fully connect it if you don't want just get them all in line okay now once you have them all right there then you can go ahead from the back of the connector just pull it forward until you hear it clicks just like that. All right, let's do one more. This one, you know, good. I'm going to do what I'm going to. I'm doing a, a difficult one for you. So hold the coil in place. Okay, it did connect. All right, let's get the other three done, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I uh, just noticed something. And I think uh, you, you should notice. Look, here's one of the old coils. You see that part that's sticking out right there? It's on that side and... Wait, bring it in over because like, it's like half sun, half shade. Oh. You can see it. Okay. You got this part that sticks out right here. And on the opposite side, it's the same thing. If you look down here, onto the valve... In the valve cover, you see where it lines up at. Can you see uh, one of them? Like if you look right, right here on the side, right there. Yeah, I see the, the little thing on the coil. And do you see down and look further down on the valve cover? You see where it lines up at, where it goes. Oh, okay, I see it. You see that? Yeah. You want to, That's your alignment, so you know where that coil goes. What you want to do? Start off from this end, push down, make sure it's lined up, and just take your palm and push down on the coil. Let's go to the next one, lined up, push down, and continue to do it on and do the others. Perfect. Just something I just noticed. Because uh -huh. they can't see the little thing on the valve cover. It shouldn't it line up with that right there. With what? This part right here. You see how the cutout is exactly as the coil? Oh yeah. Okay. Do use, use that as alignment also. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, last but not least, our engine cover. Now, remember guys, you got these four. Now guys, this is a um on a lot of the older Volkswagens, it is almost impossible 
to pull these covers up because the, the rubber gets dry rotted and all that. So this is a good time to take that same silicone. Just put a little, just put a little inside the cover, inside the grommets, and that'll help installing it and when you go to pull it off. Alright, so we're gonna just take a little bit. Should have saved some instead of putting lots of it. over your oil filler cap let's line that up just lay it down and you're gonna pretty much it's gonna fit right into place perfectly and that's all you have to do is just take your palms pop it down done job perfectly done all right we'll be right back all right so today we had a 2007 Volkswagen Beetle I can't hear you with a 2.5 <laughs> engine, this was a five cylinder, and we showed you how to replace the spark plugs and the ignition coils. If you guys have any comments or questions, you can post it below in the comment section, or you can email Timmy at tim at astroautorepairs.com. Hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. See you next time.